to perform engine starts using external power, the following sequence is suggested. The ground power unit is connected to the external power receptacle, located under the left engine pylon. The external power unit should provide between 28 and 29 volts DC and be capable of 800 to 1100 amps. The generator switches are selected off, to prevent the generators from coming online with external power attached. Leaving generators off, also inhibits cross starts. The aircraft's electrical system is energized by placing the battery switch, up to the bat, position. The voltmeter should now read between 28 and 29 volts, assuring that the ground power relays is closed. The left start button is pressed. Whenever engines are being started from ground power, the battery disconnect relay will be powered open to prevent the battery from participating in the EPU start. This prevents the battery from taking a start cycle, or portion thereof, during an external power start. The left start relay is energized closed, energizing the left starter generator with external power. The left fuel boost enunciator, and the white light in the left start button will illuminate. The left starter generator will rotate, turning the N2 spool in the engine. The N2, or turbine RPM will begin increasing, as displayed on the turbine RPM display for the left engine. As N2 increases above 10%, the left thrust lever can be placed in the flight idle position. This energizes the left engine's igniters. As the fuel-air mixture in the engine's combustion chamber is ignited, the left engine ITT readout will indicate an increase in temperature. As the combustion energy is added to the starter's torque, N2 RPM will continue increasing. As N2